the basics of machine learning. AI is undeniably hot right now, and for good reason. Forget the Terminator, AI is fundamentally changing business practices today. And at Spark Cognition, we are on the front lines of that change. But figuring out exactly what AI is remains a challenge for many. So let's break down the basics of AI in plain language. First, think machine learning, not AI. And I know machine learning also sounds a bit scary, but it's just the process of using example data to build models that make predictions. And the key idea is that these models are based on patterns and data, not if-then-else rules. And when you think about it, this really makes sense to us as humans. We use some rules like look both ways before crossing the street, but grandma didn't give us a rule of thumb for other things, like the acceptable range of a sensor on an oil rig during a hurricane. For that, we need data and math, hence machine learning. So while we learn from experiences, machine learning models learn from data. As newer data is fed into them, the model's accuracy improves. That's learning. This is a really important point, so I want to say it again in case you missed it. One of the biggest drivers of your model's performance is the quality and quantity of the data you provide it. Now, there are two categories of models, supervised and unsupervised. Both are important. Supervised models need labeled example data. So web visitor page clicks and whether they purchased or not would be an example. Unsupervised models, on their hand, don't need labeled data, but group the data into categories for you. As in, 25% of your visitors click these three blog posts in succession. Now you'll want to use both in your analysis. Supervised models when you have a clear outcome you want to predict, and unsupervised models when you have less information up front. Now, a popular set of algorithms today are neural networks. While nominally styled after neurons of the human brain, it's more helpful to think of neural networks as a series of matrices, and each matrix is a linear regression. The predictive power of an individual matrix isn't that great, but as these matrices are combined together in layers, these deep layers become increasingly powerful, and this is referred to as deep learning. We hope this information has been helpful. Please keep reading at sparkcognition.com.